Hello, my name is Mike Mapes. I am the owner, starter, CEO, whatever you want to call it, of Second Chance Bird Dogs. Um, two years ago, I started Second Chance Bird Dogs unofficially, you know. I got timber and nitros rescues. They turned out to be great bird dogs. The idea kind of struck me that I could get more dogs like this and train them for bird hunting and rehome them to people that bird hunted. Um, as I got more people that wanted their dogs rehomed. And every dog I've ever got came from a home that was a loving home, a good home. I've never, yeah, every dog I've gotten the family loved. The dog was spoiled rotten, sat on the couch and watched Netflix all the time. I've never, ever got a neglected dog. I've never got a sad dog. I've never, anything like that. I don't know if you guys remember, about two weeks ago, I posted a picture of a white and brown German short hair. Somebody was trying to rehome. And the guy messaged me before Christmas. He's like, hey, I want a $1,000 for this dog. I need to find a good home. It's going to be a great dog, great hunting dog. He's a $3,000 dog all day long. Gave me this whole line of bull crap about how awesome this dog is. And you're not going to be disappointed. Buy this dog and train him and resell him and rehome him. And I just kind of blew it off like, yeah, I don't do that. That's not what I do. I have given people money for their dogs before when they rehome them to me, yes. Most of the time I do do that, you know. Um, people buy an $1,800 dog and they can't control it or can't contain it. Sometimes they want money back, okay. And I recoup that in the rehoming fee after I train them and whatnot. But $1,000, no. Never sold a dog for that at all. And... This guy sends me a message this week. He's like, hey, 650 bucks you can have the dog. He's from a great bloodline. I'm thinking, okay, for 650 bucks I could get this dog. I could train him, and I could rehome him for $650. I can do that. I can see somebody wanting a dog for 650 bucks. That's a good hunting dog. Okay, sure. So I meet this guy in Portage tonight, and the emotions I feel right now, I can't even put in a Facebook post. That's why I'm putting it in a video. I don't even know what to say. I showed up and the guy opens the door of his truck. He grabs a dog and throws him in the crate in my truck and slams the door. And <laughs> the dog just looks at me and I just, I don't know. I literally saw nothing in his eyes, like the, no joy, no nothing. I don't even think he was scared. This dog has sat in a crate for I don't know how long. He smells awful. He growls at me. He's scared half to death, has no clue what's going on. I don't even know the dog's name. The guy didn't even tell me the dog's name. Didn't even have the time to do that. He was in his truck. And on the road with my money faster than I've ever seen. And part of me, when he put the dog in my truck, my brain was telling me, put the money back in their pocket and let him take the dog back. But my heart told me, no, I could not. I looked at that dog and I couldn't do that to him. He's growling right now. I don't know if you can hear him. I mean, if this right here isn't what Second Chance Bird Dogs is all about, I don't know what is. He looks a little happier now than when I picked him up. I'll say that. Hey, buddy. It's okay. It's okay. He's okay. He's overweight. I'm pretty sure that he just sat in the crate for the last God knows how long and just ate. I don't think he's ever been out anywhere. Come on. He won't come to me. 
I mean, I can touch him. He's not mean. He's just scared half to death. And I don't know why. But, this was 10 times bigger challenge than I expected. I was not expecting this at all. So, I'm going to work on getting him out of the crate tonight. And I'm going to put him in the garage because he smells awful. And my wife is going to kill me if I take him inside and give him a bath tonight. So, we're going to get him out of the crate, get him in the garage. My garage is warm. I got a bed in there for him. Put some food in there. And hopefully tomorrow morning he will uh, be a different dog. Hey, buddy. Don't growl at me. It's okay. I've had the door open in the crate since he's been home for about a half hour and he hasn't moved. So I don't know what we're going to name him. There you go. People can see your face now. What do you want your name to be, bud? Hmm? He's supposedly a year and four months old. What you want your name to be, huh? He's just scared. He has no clue what's going on. I don't know if he's ever seen people for how long, I don't know. But if you got a good name, let me know what you think it should be. He's brown and white. Got some black specks. I've got AKC papers. The guy had that. But that's about it. This dog has seen no love his entire life. So. His second chance starts right now. And hopefully, I'm going to give him two weeks. I think in two weeks he'll be running around the yard playing. It might take longer than that. I don't know. I mean, I've dealt with dogs like this before, but he'll get there. Keep watching the Facebook. I'll update you guys every day. Um, yeah. Pray for this guy because he needs it. And let me know what you think his name should be. Aiden told me he wanted to call him Bean. You like Bean? I don't think he likes Bean. We'll see you guys later. Keep in touch. Keep watching.